Welcome to the most stupendous snake competition, the competition where you compete to win fabulous prizes. Uh, yeah, and we don't have any prizes. We don't have any fabulous prizes? We, no prizes, no. The competition where Como snakes compete to win your vote for most stupendous snake, and you win the prize of new knowledge. Let's go. Hey everyone, it's Anne from Como Park Zoo and Conservatory here to tell you all about amazing snakes. Snakes are awesome reptiles. They don't have legs, yet they can slither, swim, and even climb. They smell with their tongue, and they come in all different sizes and colors. Here at Como, I have four different snakes who want to tell you about why they deserve to be crowned the most stupendous snake of Como. Let's meet our first contestant. She hardly needs an introduction. It's Xena, the green anaconda. Xena, can you tell us a little bit about yourself? Hello, I'm Xena. Green anacondas like me are the heaviest snake in the world. I am 20 years old, and I've lived in tropical encounters for almost 15 years. Please bring your attention to my eyes and nostrils. Can you see that they are on the top of my head? Because I spend most of my time in the water, with my eyes and nose where they are, I can hide my entire body in the water while still being able to breathe and watch for food on land. Can you imagine what it would be like if your nose and eyes were on the top of your head? I should win most stupendous snake because I am at least 17 feet long. That means I'm the longest animal at Como, and I'm even longer than Como's tallest giraffe. Wow, Zena, that is stupendous. Thanks for sharing. Now it's time to meet our next contestant, Eric's the Kenyan Sand Boa. Um. Is she, is she still here? Did she leave? Hold on, she's still here. Here she is. Sorry about that, everyone. Eric's, why don't you introduce yourself? Hi there. I'm Eric's, a Kenyan Samboa and I've been at Como for 19 years, basically my whole life. I think my best features are my head. It looks like my tail. That helps me keep my head safe from predators. Also, I love my shovel-shaped nose. That helps me dig in the sand to stay cool in the desert. My special talent, which you might have already guessed, is being able to bury my entire body using just my head. All right, our third contestant today is Prism, the Rainbow Boa. She also calls Tropical Encounters home. Prism, why don't you tell us a little bit about yourself? I'm sorry, Prism, we're having a hard time hearing you. Why don't we take you out of your habitat and meet you a little closer? That's better, Prism. Why don't you tell us a little bit more about yourself? Hi everyone, sorry you couldn't hear me before. My voice really is a treasure to behold. Tropical Encounters is the perfect place for me to live because in the wild, snakes like me live near the Amazon rainforest. You can see my markings are great camouflage for living in dark forests and allowing me to sneak up on my food. I am a skillful hunter of small rodents. I am 19 years young and I've been at Como for 17 years. You're so lucky to have a beautiful snake like me at Como. <laughs> well, of course, my special talent is my beauty. Take a closer look at me in the sun. My scales shine like a rainbow. That's why they call me a rainbow boa. Wow, that is amazing and beautiful. Thank you so much for sharing. Well, we've reached our final contestant. Please give a warm welcome to Kermit the Hognose Snake. This handsome fellow may be tiny, but he is fierce. Kermit, why don't you tell us a little bit about yourself? Oh, well, yeah, okay. I'm almost 19 years old and I've been at Como my entire life. 
Hobnose snakes like me live in the United States and can even be found right here in Minnesota, don't you know? I'm called a hognose because my snout is turned up, sort of like a pig's nose. I use my nose to dig in the ground, searching for my favorite food, toads. I may be small, but I am fierce. One of my first defenses when I feel scared is to flatten my head and inflate my body. I look like a large cobra. Not really large, but I try. Then I hiss and I strike. It's all a bluff, of course. I'm not going to bite, but it's a pretty good way to tell everyone to back off. And why do you feel like you should be voted most stupendous snake? Well, because my special talent is playing dead. That's right, if acting fierce isn't enough to scare ya, my final defense is another bluff. I'll flip over on my back, open my mouth, and stick my tongue out. Also, you'll think I'm dead and won't eat me. Check it out. All right, everyone, well, that's the end of our competition, and now it's time for you to cast your vote. Which of these four Como snakes deserve your vote to be crowned most stupendous snake? Is it Xena, the green anaconda, and her 17-foot-long body? Is it Eryx, the Kenyan sand boa, and her amazing ability to bury herself in the sand? Is it Prism, the rainbow boa, and her scales that sparkle in the sun? Or is it Little Kermit, the hognose, and his top-notch acting ability? Cast your vote now. And next time you visit Como, head on into Tropical Encounters and meet some of these stupendous snakes in person. See you next time.